What's up guys, it's getting back again with another video. So, I just wanted to take a break today from the normal, like my normal content. Because I just felt, and I'm still feeling like I'm in a space of weird because today was supposed to be a planning day for the rest of this month and for December. For content, but I felt like I need to make this video, take a pause and just sit down and talk to you guys because there's such a lot there's such a lot going on in the world today and right now now south africa has resolved to withdraw its diplomats from tel aviv in israel for and good day we are coming on the air with breaking news about it next here's what we know according to our four senior law enforcement officials that were briefed on the matter. This is video of that explosion that's coming to our newsroom. From what we understand, a vehicle crashed over the killing in Beni of 26 people in an attack. And I feel like I just want you guys to know a few things because it can sit so much on your mind and make you feel so, I don't know, weird these i can't explain the feeling that it gives it's just it's difficult because you're like these people going through things i'm going through things and it's like you feel guilty and you feel weird and it's a weird space to be in and it's a weird time to be alive right now it is a weird time and we're all just trying to survive and i think that's why i just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys for a bit like i said with everything going on in the world i just want to say a few things and i don't really and i didn't really want to speak on these different matters because i feel within myself that i am not educated enough in a sense to be talking about this matters i don't know enough things but from what i've seen and what i've heard and the things i've read and the things i've seen it just makes you like what is wrong with the world why are we getting this bad to this point where we hide and we act like we don't see things that we do see and it's been so weird for me because I've been suppressing it so much. I go on my phone and I think it's a lot of the reason why I don't really scroll on TikTok or my Instagram or anywhere, matter of fact, mostly Instagram to be honest. But what I'm trying to say is you see these things and you don't want to see them, but then you want to see them because these are the things that's actually happening in the world. These are the things that's going on and it's so sad and scary because these people are going through so much pain and it hurts my heart because I sit and I'm like, I literally can't do anything but pray for these people. And nobody deserves to live in constant fear of whether they're gonna have food, whether they're gonna have access to supplies or whether they're just gonna be able to live and survive the next day. They don't de deserve to live like that. And it's so unfair because the whole world is looking away from it. I've seen posts that celebrities are making and they get so much backlash for it. And those things I understand. But when people are standing up for what is right, they get fired and they get said this, they get said this about them. I, in no way, shape or form, condone genocide. I do not condone the innocent killing of children and people it is something so horrible to see and if you're sensitive to this topic please don't continue watching this video or just skip to the part where i'm just talking about the strategies and how to cope and feel better but it's so sad and you go on instagram which is something normal and i agree that people do need to see this because people are ignoring it and it's taken this long for so much people to acknowledge it that we're ignoring it people are scared to be honest i was scared to just say this what i'm saying i know people if they see this i'll be like acting what the fuck why are you talking about this like like just shut up but i feel like i have something to say and whether that's a big contribution to this or a small contribution to this matter of fact i don't have a big following <laughs> So, there's very little I can say, but if I can make people aware, the few people that I do see, then I feel like they, that I've done something. If I'm just quiet and I sit here and I don't say anything and I don't 
pour my heart out for these people in the passion that I have for YouTube. If I don't try, then none of this means anything. So when I say all of these things, I am talking about everything going on. I'm not just talking about stuff in specific like Israel and Palestine. I'm not just talking about that. There's so much also going on in the world. People are going through pain. We're going through a lot. And it's difficult because you get just so swallowed up in all of it. And it's not fair. Because none of us deserve to live like that. They especially don't deserve to live like that. Because they are living in fear every day for their lives. And it just saddens me. But I don't want to make this whole video about that. I'm trying to be a bit positive. Because I feel like that's what a lot of us need these days. Some positivity and some hope. Anyhow. Anyway, so I just hope. And I just want to say that I hope all their pain gets washed away. And that the people that have passed from this and are being so affected by this i hope that god eases their pain so with everything that i just said i think it's important for us to acknowledge the global pain and the attitude that's going on in the world which is why i spoke about what i spoke about if you didn't like that or anything like that you don't have to watch the rest of this video it's fine i just want to emphasize that during these times it's important for us to address our emotions and how we feel and find ways to cope because like I said you can get so swallowed up in all of this. But it's important for us to understand our emotions. Tragedy and pain can have a like trauma in general or pain or sadness can have such a huge impact on us. Like it takes an emotional toll on you and we just not prepared for that all the time and it's difficult because if i even like i spoke about my experiences like do this to be made about so firstly i just want to talk a bit about understanding your emotions so for me emotions can take such a huge toll on i'm not just speaking about me personally there's a lot of people that it also is like this for these strategies and seeing these things and going through these things, even if it's your own trauma, your own pain, because there are so much bad things going on, and I really can't emphasize that you go through such an emotional toll and you feel helpless in the sense of like, what do I do with these emotions because they are literally eating me alive? And for me, it's just a constant problem because it just messes me up. It just messes me up and that's the only way I can explain it. And it's better for you to acknowledge these feelings, to acknowledge the things that are wrong, the things that you're not happy with, than to suppress it. Yes, of course, all the time you don't want to be all the time talking about this, but acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledge, you know what, look, I'm not okay right now, I'm just overwhelmed. There's too much and like I just can't. I need to just pause because that's okay. Okay, so to help you guys, let's talk about a few coping strategies, right? So I have anxiety, right? So I do breathing exercises, which I will admit I don't always do because I'm stubborn and sometimes I'm going in my head and then yeah. But sometimes journaling about your feelings sometimes talking to a loved one that supports you and understands and will just be there to listen and give you that you know what i'm listening and i care about what you have to say i don't actually have to say anything like if you one of those people want to be there for other people you don't have to say anything it's just literally about listening and showing what you're actually listening to us or anyone that you care about another thing that you can do is meditate literally just sit this is why I chose this comfy space right now to just sit and chill and do this video compared to my normal sitting at my desk and doing my videos because I wanted to be comfortable and I wanted to just sit and speak like I'm literally just talking to a friend because that's what you guys are to me. You guys are my outlet and my passion. And like this is it for me for instance. This is my coping strategy. Talking to you guys, showing you guys my reality and talking about the reality of the world because that's what helps me that's what keeps me going and for a while i had given up on that because i just couldn't find the motivation or capability or strength in myself to do it because this year was nothing like i wanted it to be it's nothing i envisioned and i will do a video talking about that more in depth but it didn't go as planned and for a lot of people it's like that this year was just so sorry for my language but crap 
this was one of the hardest is and it still is and it's almost coming to an end and i cannot actually believe that i got through it kind of saying so these coping strategies whatever your coping strategies even if it's just taking a bath and sitting there and allowing your body to just relieve that stress put some epsom salts in the bath put a bath, bath bomb in do a face mask do your nails go to gym do whatever find your coping strategy whether it's meditation or breathing exercises or journaling or talking to a loved one or just doing something by yourself self-care or whatever find that and use it to the best of capability sometimes you need different ones as well when i say talk to a loved one it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to talk about what's bothering you sometimes just going to the person and hugging them or being like can we watch a movie together can we just do something to distract your mind and just bring a little bit of positivity back into you because spending time with a loved one or loved ones can bring so much calm and relaxation to your mind and to you emotionally also guys sometimes it's just can get really bad and in my case i have been there so i can kind of speak from experience and my advice is if it really does get that bad please get help i will try and list a few numbers of contact details of people who can help you because I just feel it's so important because people are so scared of getting professional help if they need it and I want to encourage it because I was once one of those people scared to ask for help and I did it and it was probably one of the best decisions I made because it helped me a lot. Please if you do need help, talk to a professional, go for that help because you are just as important, you matter. So take care of yourself because not that nobody else is going to do it, but you are the first and the most person that's going to worry about yourself. So do it. You deserve that at least. So like I said, these coping strategies. And then also one thing I want to encourage people to do is make a positive impact. You might feel helpless like I do. You might feel stuck. You might feel, what do I do? Like, how am I supposed to actually help in any of these situations? And yes, maybe you might not be able to help it directly. Maybe you're not helping exactly in the way you want. But do positive things. Like, there is so much power in small, meaningful actions. And we don't realize that. Encourage encourage yourself and encourage others to support relevant initiatives and volunteer and support different charities overall guys i don't want to make this video too long because i just want to sit down and have a little chit chat with you guys I like a type of life update thing because i have so much planning to do and a lot of work and I still have assignments to do and I've had a lot of them on my mind. I am okay guys, don't worry, I am okay, I'm way better than I was. But I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys for a bit because I like sitting down and having these conversations with you and sometimes I feel like it's much needed. And I just want to emphasize that I am not to no know mental health guru, person that's going to save the world. but. These things matter to me, they matter to my heart and I can't just sit still and not say anything or not try to help or not encourage people because I just, I can't. <laughs> I tried. But like I said, try the coping strategies, make positive impacts. Please, if you can, if you want to and you feel other people need to hear what I have to say or are going through a lot right now, share this video and help me help you raise awareness about all these things. I know this is not the happiest video or the funnest video, but I believe and I pray that we will be, we will all be okay. Do not take on too much on yourself. That is the best advice I can give. Be gentle with yourself because you're only human. We unfortunately don't have control over all these things. You matter and remember your happiness is a priority. I will be back next week before the next video. Yeah. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday or are having a wonderful Saturday by this time. Have you guys. Bye. Damn, this shit too cold, bro. What you doing? Baby.